Okay, for this video, we're going to make a really cool looking deep sea angler fish. Um, a series of videos that we're going to work through through Tinkercad code blocks. So we're going to start, this video is going to focus on the body. Um, so we've already created our Tinkercad code file. We've called it our name and what the what it is. So when we turn in our animated GIF, we know exactly what we're doing. So we're going to start and jump right into this. We're going to create an object for the body of our fish. So that's going to be what this video one is all about, is just creating the, the body object. So we're going to go in. We're going to rename this block. We're going to click on it, click rename the variable. We're going to call it the body. So we're going to rename the object and call that the body. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in our shapes. And the first thing we're going to do is drop in a sphere. So the sphere is going to be the body of our fish. Now what you can do is pick what color do you want your fish to be. Um, I'm going to make mine, I think I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go here with my, I'm going to make my guy green. I'm going to go with this green color for my fish. I actually know, you know what I think I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with like a, like a hot pink. So I'm going to get hot pink. So uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change. And when we do the radius, remember the radius is the size of our sphere. So I've got my speed all the way up here. So that's going to give me my sphere there. I want the body to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make his, his, the radius 20. So when I hit play, that yeah, makes it a much bigger sphere there. Um, with my steps, if I scroll in here and you look at uh, where we're at with it, if I change that right, and I hit play, you'll notice that it looks less round. So it gives it more of a scaly look. Um, I don't really want mine to have that scaly of a look. I mean, you don't want it to be too round. So if I went to 36, it looks like it's a like a perfect circle. So we don't really want to do that. So I'm going to keep it in that 18 to 25 range. You adjust the steps for where you want your your scales, your scale level to be for your for your fish. All right. So I'm going to do mine at uh, 20. So then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to we're going to slide this. We're going to rotate it and then uh, we're going to move it just a little bit to kind of give us some space here. So I'm going to go in. First, we're going to do is we're going to drop our rotate. We're going to rotate on the y-axis 90 degrees, and then I'm going to move it. Um, I'm going to move it 10 to the right, right, just to give us a little bit off center. Now we don't necessarily have to move everything. I'm going to do this because what this is going to do is this is going to set it up so that our our body is kind of right where we want it, so that we don't have to move as much with everything else. So we kind of shift it over just a little bit. Because remember, anytime you put a new shape in, your new shapes will always go in at the origin point. So every shape that you put in will always start at zero, 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 where the three axis intersect. So what we're doing is we're setting up so it's off by a little bit, move it off, and then it's going to help us bring the rest of our shapes in. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the, uh, the the back end of, his, of our fish body. So we're going to add another shape. I'm going to bring a cone in here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that my cone is the same color, right? Because it's going to be the same body of our of our uh, fish here. And I'm going to change the, we're going to hit this. And so I'm going to change this to start out to make my bottom radius so it kind of matches up. We'll do a 20. Actually, I want it to, I don't want it to, if I do 20, it'll be the exact same thing. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. So we go 19.7, right? So my radius of my circle is 20. If I do this just a little bit smaller, it'll actually be inside, right? So it'll kind of it won't look like I'll have that line, which is really what I'm what I'm wanting to do here. So I'm gonna bring that in, um, and then we're gonna make this uh, a much bigger. So we're gonna start with 40, and we'll keep our sides. We want this to be pretty. Pretty round too, so we'll make it, we'll do 20 as well. Just see kind of, see what it looks like for my fish here. So let's hit play here and we'll notice, look, there's my cone. So drop the cone right in there. So what we got to do is we want that to be the tail of them. So what we got to do is we got to rotate that and move that into place. Okay. So now I'm going to go back up in here. I'm going to grab my rotate and I'm going to rotate on my Y axis and we're going to rotate it. Uh, we're going to rotate that. And so if I rotate it 90 degrees, let's see what we do here. So that puts it, oh, that's the wrong end. So I want that to be the tail end. 
So what we're actually going to do is go back in here and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees the opposite direction. You can either do negative 90 or use your slider wheel and go to negative 90. And so when we do that, you'll notice that my our, fit, our, our tail is there, but it's, it's still sticking out. So I've got this part sticking out here. And I don't want to do that. I, I got to get that moved over a little bit. So we're going to slide that over to the left a little bit. So when I'm going to hit the move, I'm going to slide this over to the left. Now remember, if we go to the right, we move the body to the right a little bit. So that was a positive number. To move to the left, you use negative number. So I'm going to use negative 10. Right, and see, or actually we may give 12 and see what we do here. And we're gonna hit play, and there it is. Look at that. So see how it's there? Now when we look at this, if it's, uh, you know, I don't know, it looks a little bit like a cone. I don't know that I really like those. I'm gonna adjust my sides here a little bit. So I'm gonna make those 24. Let's see what that does here. It looks a little, it looks a little better. Looks a little more in tune with the fish, get kind of the lines. They all are kind of looking the same, so it doesn't look too bad. So we'll do that. So we're gonna so we got a pretty good start for our body. So it's looking a little bit like a fish body. Now it's not quite there yet. We still got still got some work to do on it. Um, and so we'll we'll get there here in a second. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a a roof on here. So I'm gonna go into my shapes. And what we're looking for is this round roof, okay? So now you're gonna notice with when we add this round roof, it doesn't give me, I can't change all the shapes of this round roof. When I drop this round roof in, it puts it right in there and it's hidden actually inside my other shapes, but it's there, okay? So first thing I'm, I'm gonna do is we're gonna have to uh, change to, to where we want to put that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it. So first of all, I can see it. So let me go in here and I'm gonna drop a move in so I can see what it is that I'm working with. So I added that roof shape, I'm gonna drop my move in here and I'm gonna move it because it's gonna go on to the back where that point is to make it like his tail fin. So if I move that, that was, I moved that 12, right, is where that point is. So I'm gonna double that. Let's see what that does. I'm gonna do negative 24, remember, because I'm going to the left. Let's see what happens here. So I move it, there it is. All right, so there it's at the end, just kind of what I want. First thing I add is my color's wrong, so I'm going to change that real fast, make sure I get my coloring right so everything is the right color. And then what we want to do is we are going to rotate that, okay, because I want this fin, it's going to be kind of pointing up a little bit. I'm going to go in, rotate along that Y axis, and let's see what we do here, my 90 degrees. All right, there it is. I look straight up and down. That looks a little fake. Let's go a little less. So it's kind of like a bent fin. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's like 72. There it is. That's looking pretty good. So we've got that. And so, okay, so we are, we are going good here. So now what I want to do is we are going to have to change this up just a little bit because it's it's pretty thick. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't look good. So for this one, because we don't have all those that we can change, we have to use the scale. And remember, the scale is going to change the size of our object. Okay, so we're changing our X, our Y, and our Z to see where it is. So at scale of 1, 1, 1, that's the exact shape that we've got. Okay. So if we change this, so if we start to change some of these numbers, right? Like if I change my X to two, it's going to double my X value. So when I hit play, you'll notice, look at that. See how much, how much bigger that tail fin is now, how it went down on the X. But then my Y is going to be my width of it. I'm going to make it a much skinnier. So I'm going to go 0.2 for that one, right? And we look at this. And see how that's a very that's very thin now. And then I'm going to change my Z. We'll try a two for the Z to see what we can do here. And there it, it added the Z value. That is a looking uh, that's looking pretty good right now. If I wanted to change the angle of my fin, I kind of like it being angled down like that. I don't want it to be like straight up and down, but I don't want it to be too much. But like you know what I could do here is I can go like let me go seventy four. 
for my degrees. Let's see what we got here. And that's going to create. There it is. It's looking like that's a pretty, pretty decent body for our fish. So I'm kind of digging that. So that's going to be our tail fin that we have, that we've just created. Okay. So now what we need to do is we're going to add our, um, add our fins in there, right? And so what we can do here is we can do, we can either create new objects and say, we're going to create fin, create fin and put them in here. But what I'm going to do is just add them right in here because we're already in this. We're just going to make this as part of the body. So if we come into here and we create our fins right what we're going to do is we're just going to add in another we're going to add in another i like that shape that we did so we're going to add another round roof in here we're going to change the color of it right away to make sure that i got the right color of it and then what we are going to have to do when we get this one is we are going to set up and get it to where it is ready to go Okay, so let's do this now. So we've got this going. And all right, so the first thing that we want to do is we've got this shape in here. So if we add the shape and we hit play, it puts it in there. But again, it's right in the middle of our of our shape, so we don't know where it is. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move it so we can see it. So that's the first thing we want to do. So I'm going to drop my move in here so I can see what it is we're looking at. And we're going to move this out a little bit. So let's move this out first, 20. Let's see if we can see where it comes out at. There it is. So there's our fin coming out on that side. We're going to put it up just a little bit. Bring it to the left, bring it to the right just a little bit. So we'll do that. So it's going to bring it out there, bring it to the bring it to the right just a little bit. Now what we want to do is we're going to scale this again to get it so that it's the right scale. All right. So we want to scale it, uh, make this a little bit. I, I like how this is nice and thin. So that was that point two. So I'm going to keep my Y up here is the point two. So I'm going to make that to the point two. I like where that is. We want this because these are going to be his fins, like his swim fins. So we're going to make these just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do something just like a 1.2 and we'll do a 1.2 on the Z axis. Let's see what we got here. So now we've got, there's this fin. Okay. So now the problem that we've got is the fin is, uh, it is not, facing the way that we want it to face, right? So we want it to kind of, I don't like it going down like that. It just doesn't look like right. I want it to kind of be bent back, kind of similar to this one here. So I'm going to rotate along my axis again. I'm going to rotate this one around on my Y axis. Let's do this. Let's rotate my Y axis. Let's see what we got here now. We put the play, there it is. So rotate it along my Y axis so it's straight up and down. And then let's, I'm gonna rotate this on the X axis. Keep it just a little tilt again. So we're gonna rotate this on its X axis. And we're just gonna make this a, a little bit, we're gonna go a negative 30. Okay. We're gonna hit play. And there, so there it is. See how it's kinda, there, that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent fin. I like that. It's kind of sticking out. So now what we're going to do is we can do, we want to do essentially the exact same thing, right? And we're going to put that onto the other side of our, of our, of our fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit here. And if I hit this right here, everything that's connected below it is going to get copied. So when I do control C, when I come back here and I do a control V, Every block that's connected below my copy block will get copied. Okay, so we're making the exact same thing, right? So this is gonna be our exact, our exact same thing. But so what we need to change here is if we put this on, so watch this, I put this on, it gives me two right on top of each other on the exact same spot. So what I need to change is right here, I've got my Y value of 20. 
So this bottom one, I'm going to give myself um, a y value of negative 20. Right? And so when I do this, we get it. But you notice see it's flipped all the same way. So I, again, all I need to do is change and flip what my degrees are. So then I, what I'm going to do for this one, for the second one, is we're going to rotate. Instead of rotating my, everything looks the same, but I, what I want to rotate is have this bottom part tilted in. So instead of rotating on my um, x-axis, negative 30, I'm going to do my x-axis, positive 30. Right? And... There it is. So you can see we basically with making a couple of small changes, I've got both of my fins that are identical and they just are angled differently. So this has got a negative uh, 30 um, axis and this is a positive 30 X axis rotation. So that, to get those in there. So that's going to give us our two fins. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we are going to uh, we're going to need to add in uh, some other just some to make it sort of connect or look better, right? So when we rotate around here, it kind of looks like it's like disjointed or disconnected. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a ring in here, kind of all connect it together. So I'm going to go down into here. I'm going to add a, tor a torus, dropping in the torus here. So I am going to change this torus to make sure that it's the right color. So change it to this hot, to this hot pink, which is what my, um, what it's going to be. We're going to make this just a little bit bigger. So we'll make it a radius of 15. I'm going to keep my sides at that 24. I kind of like that. The tube is, what do we want the diameter of the tube to be? So we'll make the tube, we'll make it a little bit bigger tube, like a three. And we'll keep the steps the same. So we hit play on that. And you notice, see now I've got that ring in there, right? And so then what we're going to do is we're going to change that just a little bit. And we're going to do a rotate. Rotate that on its axis, its x-axis by 90 degrees, and then we're gonna move this just a bit on its x-axis so that it all sort of sits in there. So move it on its x-axis 30 to the right, and this is going to give us. Here we go. So this is gonna give us the front of our of our angler fish. So this is going to give us our the the piece that's going to be like hanging out of his uh, of his mouth, like when we when we get uh, put his uh, put a light bulb or fin on top of him. So when we get him going there, right? And so it's a little low. I don't want it that low. So we're going to put this up. We'll increase our z value. That is going to put it up at the top. What we're going to do here is this part's going to be hanging over the top of his mouth. So this is going to be his bait that he uses to lure fish in. And then when the fish come in to try to get this, what they think is a as a as a dying or fish in distress, we're going to eat them. So it's going to be awesome. So we're going to do that here. So what we've got now is uh, we're going to get that going. And the next thing that we want to do is we are going to add in... Uh, there's another shape here, triangle, a roof. Let's add a roof in here. We're going to add a roof in. And so then if we add this in, remember our roof is going to go, goes right on the inside there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to, we want to move this. All right. So I'm going to move this roof. This roof is actually going to be our uh, hole shape that we're going to cut out. Okay, so we're going to make this a whole shape. And what this roof is going to do is we're actually going to use this to cut out, which is going to give us kind of our opening for the mouth and uh, also cut off part of that uh, torus that we just put in there to uh, create the top part of our angler fish. Okay, so what we are going to do with this is we want to get this to where it needs to be. So we've got this as a whole shape. 
So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make this a, a much bigger uh, hole shape so that we can get, so we're going to cut a bunch of stuff out of here. So we're going to, again, with this, it gives us, we can give us our, our length of it, but what we're going to do is we're just going to scale this, right? And so what we're going to do is we'll change the length of this to 40. All right, so we hit play on this. Right, and that's going to give us, you can kind of see it, it's right in there, right in the middle. I'm going to scale this up a little bit so that you guys can really see this. So let's make this uh, 3.4, it's all the way around. So we're just going to triple 3.4 times the size. Let's do this. There it is. That's a pretty big, pretty big hole. Right now, if we cut that hole out right there, it'll just cut a hole right in the middle of our of our of our fish, which is not what we want to do. So what we're gonna do is this is actually gonna be kind of the mouth, and so we're gonna play around with this. So we're gonna rotate this a little bit, rotate this on its y-axis by ninety degrees, negative ninety degrees. We want to turn that. So we open it up, there it is. So this is gonna turn, there it is. So see, this is gonna, we're gonna move this now to the front because it's gonna cut out the mouth of our, of our fish. So now what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna move this, we're gonna move this X axis 32. We're gonna move that, let's see where we're at here. Let's check that. Well, that's going to cut out. Uh, that's going to cut out pretty low here. We want to bring it up just a little bit. So we're going to move our Y up 30. We'll do our Z come down one. See where that's going to put us with our angler fish. There it is. That looks like that's going to be a pretty good and we can play around with this. So when we think we've got it. We're going to do our groups. We have to create the group with it. So I'm going to go to create a group. We're going to make it a solid group. We're going to make it that my hot pink color. Let's see what happens here. So it's going to create everything. There it is. And so now we've got, so that's going to give me the mouth of our fish. And then we're going to put there's his bait uh, for, for part of his body for what he's got there. So there it is. So this is the first video, which is going to give you the body of your anglerfish that you guys are working on.